What a great honor and even greater pleasure to be standing here in front of you tonight, looking at your smiley faces, hearing your supportive voices, and just sharing the thrill of being part of a premiere. I wish you the best, all the best. Um, thank you all for coming and supporting this initiative. I'm a firm believer that gratitude is the best attitude. The, the idea that uh, of self-made people is not only a myth, but also a falsehood. I'm grateful that uh, somewhere along the way, an optimist was taken seriously. Uh, I'm grateful that in the time we live in, optimism is still contagious. Uh, why a walk? For uh, what purpose and who will it benefit? I've always considered walking an, an, a form of expression, uh, the kind that uh, transcends codes and phonetics and does not need a translation. And this choice, you will find uh, an unscripted clip from nature. And it is our way to signal to the world in the world, we have arrived and you will hear us. In life, a great miracle needs a great crisis and in this initiative uh, of a worthy message needs a worthy struggle the idea that we are willing to walk the least traveled roads seeking to stand tall in the face of critique of defeat and negativity but it also stand hopeful humble and optimistic a struggle leading me to walk my country through its cities and villages, uh, contemplating every detail of the landscape. Meeting the eyes of its children is more than a journey. It is uh, the kind of pilgrimage we renew our vows with the country we embrace. It is the kind of patriotism only a walk could capture because even a bicycle goes too fast. It isn't about the walk as much as it is about the need to do something when we see a young pessimistic generation. When we judge as impossible the idea that mentalities can change. When we mistake criticism while sipping a cappuccino in a coffee shop as engagement. When we grow up in an environment reminding us what we cannot do what we cannot accomplish, and when we ask why, the answer is always, well, this is how things are. False. False. It's back to basics. And this time, we will not see glory before work. Shortcuts, no more. Pointing fingers, no more. We are the victims, no more. Young and pessimistic, no more. I know it is deceiving to tell people to be optimistic when the system has failed them. I also know it is unfair to criticize a system we didn't even care to participate in. This is what we believe. This is who we are. And I hope tonight we begin. Thank you. I think that uh, someone like Salman, who a young person, a young, uh, a young man who decides to walk 1,000 miles and go and uh, convey a message of uh, citizenship to his fellow citizens, it's a very good idea. So uh, this is why we are all here to encourage him. Well, I think us Moroccans, we just need a push. We just need someone to tell us that, yes, we can do it. I think it's a very nice initiative that uh, bring in uh, ideas to the Moroccans, that they really know it inside their heart, but I think they need somebody to remind them. And the message is that we need to look at our country first and put our country first and not, start, and not keep blaming either the system or, or uh, this or that and start taking initiative in leading your life and picking up the after yourself.
Hit Marathon. It's a very, very uh, original, very impressive project. Uh, if it's followed and understood by the youth, and he can have, uh, he can uh, uh, bond with the young people of Morocco and teach them the positive thinking. Message, Message is hope. Hope and let's work, let's be active, let's be dynamic, let's not count on others, let's work for what we want. I think this is a very audacious um, initiative and being born and raised in Morocco, I see exactly what the founder is talking about and I see it around me, around my friends that I grew up with that, you know, yeah, we love Morocco, but there's not that sense of um, ownership of our country and no matter how small, whatever we do, it is going to impact it. So I think that reinforcing that and basically bringing that idea back to to our generation, um, it's definitely going to make a big, big chance, a big deal. He's going to transmit a, uh, a basic message that, you know, Morocco is ours and if we don't develop it, nobody else will. المسج ديال الجيل الصاعد هو انه غادي يبدا يامن بالقوه ديالو ويامن براسو ويكون ميقن بان لا كيف تيقولوا من عمل عملا واحسناه غادي ياخذ منه النتيجه وكيشجع المغاربه ديال العيون اللي هما مغاربه باش يعرفوا راسهم على انهم حتى هما راه حنا كلنا قد قد غير اللي دار شي عمل مزيان راه غادي يتكفى عليه الوطنيه راه ما كاينش اللي عنده اكثر من الاخر وهذا عمل وطني وهو انا كنقول له ابو سلمان بحال كتقولوا انتم اوباما ديال هنا انا كنقول له ابو سلمان وغادي يوصل وبالغيطاف ديال طنجه What we have done is we have created uh, uh, stock certificates right because we believe that Salman's dream is a uh, is a, a capital that we have to invest in right and that we can all have a piece of this capital is it the 50 miles or the 100 miles? The 50 miles. So. Ibrahim Rawi, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Moroccan is not a 501c3 federally registered uh, NGO. Friends of Morocco is. Uh, and so uh, Friends of Morocco, without any overhead, uh, will do a complete pass-through of your donations if you want to write it down. <laughs> From the 1,000 miles, we just covered uh, 800 miles. That is an amazing result. Yeah, <laughs> 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 